guys, Katie Crouch here with Clever News, joined today by my lovely co-host, Deidre Behar. We have Tristan Wilde here today. Yes, yes. How's it going? I'm good. I'm good. good. How are you ladies? We are Excellent. fantastic. Very happy to have you here. I'm glad to be here. Yay. <laughs> we want to start off by talking about 90210, a lot oh, yes. going on this season. Yes. You and Adriana's relationship, uh -huh. first and foremost. What is the future of that? What's going on? Um, These are a little rocky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's it's on and off. I, it started with a shaky, you know, with Dixon and his addiction and kind of just falling into that. But I think it'll be good for a little bit, and then uh, I think some things are gonna probably mess it up a little bit. So you guys gotta watch. Yeah. How is it working with Jessica Lowndes? I mean, she's amazing. You know, she's great. You know, she, she's always on point and. Uh, always very fun and bubbly you know yeah. she, she's always just really really happy so I mean it, it's always great to be on set with you sort of brought up the whole like addiction thing that your character has mm -hmm. to deal with I want to know personally how do you prepare as an actor to do something like that are you let's hope you're not a method actor <laughs> and you don't actually do that but are you like going to AA meetings are you meeting with people who are who have dealt with it in real life most definitely for me I, I definitely call doctors who, who uh, who had to deal with that certain with the certain stuff? I uh, had I talked to a few uh, kids that were in college that were addicted to Ritalin and Adderall, wow. and you know just really getting the uh, the idea from them, you know, just to understand what it does, how it feels, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Because you know I, I'm never done it myself, so uh, you really gotta just you really gotta talk to a lot of people, see how they perceived it, and you know, kind of bring it to life yourself. Were you excited when you saw that written into the storyline, that you yeah. were going to get to tackle a kind of gritty role like that? It's a chance to kind of like show off your chops and like, you know, really dig into uh, a situation or, you know, dig deeper with the character. Have any fans of the show come up to you and thanked you for tackling, or for tackling such a hard subject, or have they learned anything from um, it? Um, maybe like one or two people. Okay. And it was actually people that I've known. Like, and it was weird because I, I didn't know that they were addicted to, you know, Adderall or Ritalin or anything, but for them to really, you know, uh, come up to me and say, you know, that's really what happened, you know, and thank you. Yeah. Uh, it, it, felt, it felt great. You and Austin, in the last episode, um, you guys got into some trouble. Yeah. So I have a yeah. couple questions about that. First of all, what um, what's the best way that you've ever dealt with heartache? Because you guys are, are he sort of dealing yeah. with that. I was sitting in the middle of my room and just playing, uh, Kanye West 808s and Heartbreak over and good over album again. For that. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Great album. Very therapeutic. <laughs> yeah, right. But, but let's be you real. Kanye. You're you're Tristan Wilde. You uh, don't deal with heartache often. I actually do. I actually really? do. Yeah. You know, um I don't I don't think heartache uh it, it stops but just because of who you are or anything, you know. You can get your heart broken no matter who you are or what you do. So yeah, I've definitely had my had my heart broken a couple times. The girls all swoon right now. <laughs> <laughs> like I won't break your heart. <laughs> um, and then with the fire that you guys accidentally started, uh -huh. what can viewers expect for that? Um, well, you get to see if if we actually started the fire. Oh, mm -hmm. and the plot mm, thickens. Sneaky. <laughs> yeah. And what, what would Dixon say about Annie and Liam's relationship? I think for Dixon, he's kind of already come to terms with, the, you know, Annie and Dixon being together. So, um, you know, because Liam is his friend and because Annie is his sister, I, I think uh, his best bet would be to stay out of it. You know, you guys handle it however you want. Just keep me out of it. The rest of the season, I mean, what can we sort of expect? Uh, a lot more uh, ups and downs. There's gonna be, you know, a lot more uh, relationship woes and you know new relationships coming. There's gonna be uh, more music stuff between Dixon and Adriana, uh, and uh, you're gonna see you're gonna see a lot. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Well, music-wise, you guys had the All American Rejects mm -hmm. uh, this way. You've had the script in the past, Adrian Grenier and mm -hmm. his band. Three bands that you would want to see. Mumford and Sons. Good one. How good would that be? Um, Florence and the Machine, and probably uh, The Throne, Kanye and Jay. Yeah, oh, tell me you saw it. Did you, you see them in concert? Yes, yes I definitely Phenomenal. Did. Yeah. So good. Amazing. Where, where do you see yourself in maybe 10 years? Do you want to still be doing television? If it makes sense. If it makes sense. Um, I definitely want to do more movies. I definitely want to do more music. I definitely want to dabble in other things that, you know, I don't know, maybe directing or anything else. So, uh, 
uh, television, maybe, as long as it makes sense. Well, well thank Simple you so much for being here. Thank no you.